Okay guys, how you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of the Platinum 4K Cinema. Um, I'm used to saying the um, Crystal Edge Technology screens, but yeah, under Crystal Edge Technology screens, the Platinum 4K Cinema is a part of our product line. It's just that the other one won't be anymore. I told you, as I explained before, I think I've said this about a few hundred, a couple of times here and there, that there's a company actually interested in negotiations uh, for that particular chemical so it's, uh, there's a lot going on with that um, but I want to show you guys more on the screen also too I'd like to thank you so much for coming in and checking out the video that's awesome you guys are freaking cool all right so let me give you a little more insight um, on the screen uh, and how I was able to actually mount the screen now mind this is a hundred and fifty inch uh, 16 9 um, fixed frame aluminum projection screen um, this is not a, a black, uh, or actually not a screen paint, but an actual, uh, you can get any, we have it in a blackout cloth form, and then we have it in a fixed frame form. Now, just to add, we will have a 120 inch, 16.9 uh, motorized tension projection screen for the Platinum uh, 4K Cinema screen. So let me show you up close of uh, the screen so you can see exactly how this was done. Now mind you, uh, the curtains, I got them over at a curtain shop. Uh, they were quite a bit. I paid about $20 uh, for one of these. One of these cost me $20. Um, I had to put in a curtain rod. Um, mind you, man, trying to find a curtain rod that was 150 inches. Whew, it was quite a challenge. A lot of windows are 150 inches. So yeah, I had to uh, get a curtain rod that was about that long. And then um, to make the centerpiece across, I just bought another curtain, cut it in half, and I had to uh, Velcro and sew it in. So it wouldn't just slide right off. There's a bar that goes all the way across to the other end. Now here's the tricky part. Um, I have a radiator right here. So when I built the first screen, the 180 inch screen or 200 inch screen, it covered the entire area. So I didn't have the radiator in the way. Um, with this, the radiator shows. So this is where I got the idea to put the movie curtains in. I thought it'd be a really nice kick. And I wanted all out when it came to the curtain rod. I wanted something really fancy with a kind of a, I don't know, kind of gold kind of look to it. Now here's the tricky part. Over here, where I installed the, um, the uh, I got to clean and putty and, and plaster all this up again, which I'm about to do tomorrow, uh, clean this up a little better. But right here is where I installed the curtain rod right here. You can see where I have a little extension that comes out from the side. So there's a little lip that comes on the side that allows me to extend it. The problem I ran into on this side is the fact that I don't have that same lip, so it's completely flat. So what I had to do was, I had to get a piece of wood, um, install some, I don't know if you can see this really quick, I'm gonna try to bring the camera around so you guys can see it. All right, install some L brackets, and I had to bracket in my own little lip to come out from the wall so I can install in the, uh, the, uh, the brackets for the, um, for the, uh, for the, um, the uh, movie curtains and then basically on the side I attach some velcro and I'm able to stick it to the side of the um, make it so actually broke them to the side of the curtain so it lays flat against the screen so right here and here now the other challenge that I had is one place in the screen I gotta clean this off a little bit one place in the screen remind you because the radiator sticks out from the wall when the screen hit the wall, I had some of it hitting the radiator. So that means I'm gonna have a gap behind the back of the wall because I can't lift it up, I can't mount it to the wall. So this is what I had to do. I had to get, had to break out the MacGyver handbook and start getting a little creative on this. So in the back of this, I don't think you can see this too well. I had to put in these pipes. These are cardboard tubes. I had to connect like a coffee table kind of design. And then I had to uh, run a cable like a kind of um, cable uh, mounted to the wall into the side of the screen to anchor the screen and then put these little tubes on each end of the screen to anchor the screen in. So it's basically it's like a bit of a, like mounting a coffee table to the side of your wall. And that allowed me to put my lights and stuff in the back. Now if I choose, I can put speakers back here. It'll be freaking cool. Um, What is this on my screen? Oh, this is the, uh, from the, uh, that's from the, um, when I had to cut 
and some of it just got down the screen. It's little pieces of um, of the lining from the curtains. But yeah, as you can see, the screen looks absolutely fantastic. It's actually smooth. It's very, very beautiful. This is the platinum screens right here. Now I'm gonna go back. I'll show the demonstration right here. The screen does have neon lights behind it. So there's these old Velcros that I put there that allow the curtains to lay flat. Give it a more professional look to it. All right, on this side and this side. I wanna make sure it's all the way over nice and neat. I think I got this one a little farther out. Sorry about that, I'm going back and forth on the camera, guys. So bring it up a little bit farther here and here. So yeah, I got these curtains at a curtain shop. Paid about, uh, like I said, $20 a piece. And I wanted something that had a real movie effect to it. Also, let me show you too. These are the chasers. I got these on the floor. So there's my chasers. Right there, you can see them bouncing back and forth. Got some over there on the floor chasing back and forth. Right there. Uh, cool thing about the chasers, there is a program box right here on the floor. There's a remote control that comes with it. I have the remote control upstairs. I haven't had a time to put the batteries in it. But that's the chaser box. Programmable. Sorry, programmable. Am I saying that right? Let's say program box. I don't know if I'm saying that properly, sorry. But program box that allows you to be able to change all the settings. Um, I can dim them, but it look absolutely fantastic. But I have this on the chase right now. You can see the chase are coming out right there from there. It's pretty cool. See the lights going across. There you go. Pretty cool. Got a bit of a Knight Rider kind of effect. So let me uh, let me remove this. You can see this for yourself. And you can see how magnificent the screen looks. So uh, yeah, so these are gonna, these are actually available on our Crystal Edge Technology Screen Paint website. Um, this is like I said, we have them from the tabletops that will be 50 inch, uh, 169, all the way up to uh, 84, 92, 100, 120, and then 150. Look at that screen is absolutely freaking incredible. Like I said, the screen is using smart technology gain times two. So I'm gonna have the lights on. It's not gonna affect the screen in any way. So later on, I'll do some gaming on it, some other stuff here and there, um, just to show off the effect of the screen. Do some gaming on it. But yep, that's it right here. This is the Platinum 4K Cinema. And like I said, oh, there's my dining room. My dining room actually glows in the dark. Um, I decided to LED light my uh, my dining room over there. But like I said, these screens are available now on our website. Now, mind you, the fixed frame screens are not available overseas due to the fact they do cost quite a bit of money um, to ship over there, but the blackout cloth is available. Uh, we will be coming out, uh, actually, uh, in the Fusion Silver, Fusion Black, I haven't got around to it. I will get around to it this week. I've been in a lot of meetings, a lot of negotiations for some technology we're designing for a few companies. Um, but um, I will be showing off the 235.1. That will be the platinum, I'm sorry, not the platinum. That will be the fusion silver and fusion black blackout cloth. You can see how gorgeous this looks. And there's my lights. I love these lights, these chasers. I freaking love them. Freaking coolest thing ever. So this is part two. Tomorrow I have to go pick up the movie posters. And that's basically about it. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you so much for the awesome likes and support. Um, I gotta get going. I won't be able to upload a video tomorrow or the day after that because I'll be in contract negotiations with 
um, a particular projection screen company can't say yet to everything else is set in stone all right guys hope you enjoyed the video demonstration thank you again all for for all of you for watching